here with Rick Carl, and who's currently playing with the John King Band. But you, have you played with other bands that are local to Berks County? Yes, I played with these five, with Bobby Newton mm -hmm. uh, from 1970. Bobby was with us from 77 to 83. Mm -hmm. And then Phase 5, uh, we played all around Reading, Pottstown, Marisburg, Lancaster. Okay. And then uh, in 2003, the guitar player and I put a, a duo together called the Cabana Boys. Mm -hmm. And we did that for about the last 10 or 15 years. And what instrument do you play? I'm primarily a drummer and singer. Mm -hmm. I play some guitar, mm -hmm. can play some keyboards. Ah, all right. How long have you been a musician? When did you start start playing? Since I'm five, six. What influenced you to, to pick up pick up an instrument? The Beatles. The Beatles. On that song. <laughs> what is the best concert you've ever been to? <laughs> uh man, I've been to so many concerts. McCartney, I'm a big Tower Power fan. Uh-huh. So many. Mm -hmm. Many Eagles. Mm -hmm. So with the John King band, that's um like a like a soul kind of rock uh, flavor. Is that the the style of music that you currently like play, or that you've played throughout your life? Yeah, when when I got in Phase Five, we were a disco band. I was a rock drummer, mm -hmm. and um, some guys that I knew in the band said, "Come play in the band. You can actually make money. You can meet girls, and um, you get to play because they play a lot." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "I don't want to play disco." So I, I went, Bobby Newton was our singer, and we were playing all over. And um, now we, we primarily do rock and funk. Funk. And that's, mm -hmm. I, if it were up to me, I'd like to play Motown. Okay. I'd like to just play that soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's what people like the most. Mm -hmm. Now, for our age group, uh -huh. obviously. It gets people out on the dance floor. Obviously, you know, we're 60 years old, we're not playing for young kids all the time. Mm -hmm. So the crowds that we draw are people our age. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, that's what I would like to do. Do you have a favorite memory from your career? Well, there's a lot. Uh, we were doing a Boscoff Christmas party, or a, a Boscoff picnic in Phase 5, and um, we had to do a setup. And we, we, uh, we went to set up, and there was a, a guy that was actually opening the show, and his name was Billy Eckstein. He was a star in the 50s. I had no idea who the guy was. And we rehearsed and watched him rehearse. Later that afternoon, we had lunch with him. Later that afternoon, I was talking to my dad. I said, yeah, we're playing with some guy, Billy Eckstein. My dad was like, you're playing with Billy Eckstein? He, that was one of his idols. Mm. Uh, I had no idea who the guy was. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty Yeah, that's cool. pretty neat. That was pretty cool. So who else have you played with locally? I know you said, you know, mentioned Bobby Newton and John King and... That's primarily it. I, I mean, all the guys in, in my band. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe Schultz and Bob Shina. Bob Shina is with Teacher's Pet uh, now. Uh, Michael Harvey. We had a lot of different guys. Mm -hmm. Did you take music lessons to, to learn how to play? I did mm -hmm. for about seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I started getting in bands and I really wasn't using any of the music other than the techniques and things I was learning. Mm -hmm. So then I stopped taking lessons and just learned from records. Mm -hmm. Do you have any um, advice for somebody that's lear just learning and just starting out to play or getting into the music scene? Uh, just play. Grab an instrument, grab a guitar, grab drums. Play, listen, go watch other people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy, but it's not hard. Mm -hmm. If you put the time in, I have two sons. My older son, they both play, they're in a band called uh, Perfect Strangers. Mm -hmm. My younger son is a really good drummer. He's playing bass guitar and singing. Hmm. And my older son is a guitar player and he's playing keyboards in the band and playing guitar and sings. They both took lessons and they, they would go and the teacher would, um, 
they would say to the teacher, show me this, these chords. And the teacher would say, well, let's just stay to the book. And finally, my older son said, well, I'm getting along without me. And he, mm. and I, I go here and now, and I go, oh, he's doing darn good. Yeah, that's neat. You're kind of passing on your music history to the next generation there with mm -hmm. your sons. It's fun to go see them. Mm -hmm. Have they seen, they've seen you play, I'm assuming. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, plenty. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite show that you've ever played that was just sticks out in your mind? Is there's a lot of them. Uh, I don't have one favorite because there's, there's been so many of them. We used to, we would play uh, some of the Boss Buff Christmas parties, us and uh, Marty and the Mangoes, mm. and they were fun. Mm -hmm. um, we did some huge shows. Worked with uh, David Brenner. Joan Rivers. Hmm. So they were fun. Mm -hmm. you guaranteed people. So you traveled a bit with your with your groups? I would say at the most 100 miles from here. Mm -hmm. We didn't go real far. We st at one time, Reading, there were a lot of clubs mm -hmm. in, in this area. Reading, Pottstown, Lancaster, Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. You could play anywhere from Two to five nights a week, mm -hmm. and it was it was booming. It was a, a scene. Yeah, yeah, it was a scene. Mm -hmm. and that not anymore. Yeah. Do you have a favorite venue? Maybe one that's not even around anymore. Or? I like Pushniks in mm -hmm. Lebanon, and um, we played the Silo, which was fun and ready. Mm -hmm. Hugo's was fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, thank you so much for all of your contributions to writing this music scene. You're definitely a part of that, and have played quite a bit, um, and we're just thrilled to have you here in the Berks County Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We're, we're happy to, to have you up on the wall with all these other, other great musicians, so thank you so much. Thank you. It's awesome to be up with those guys. <laughs> They're all good. <laughs>